Welcome back to another part of this uh, build. Um, the bike is coming out nice. I really like it. I like it anyway. Um, there's one thing that bugs me about this bike though is that gas tank. Like it's so tiny. It's so small for the for the bike. Someone commented on uh, my last video and gave me a link to a, a gas tank for some reason it's not there anymore i don't know if he deleted it or what happened to that comment but somebody gave me a link to uh, a gas tank uh which is very nice for 39 dollars or 32 dollars us or whatever which is a nice price that i would buy but by the time it converts to Canadian dollars and customs fees and everything, it would cost me way over a hundred bucks by the time it gets here. So I'm not going to go that route. What I'm going to do is actually, this is the gas tank off of the motor that I'm going to use on this bike. And what I did is I already welded the mounts on the bike itself. And then I welded the bolts on the tank here. And then I JB welded a fitting over here because the the outlet that was coming out of here, it was like uh, about an eighth of an inch. And I had to do it anyway because the, tu the tubing that was coming out of it cracked on me, broke on me. So... But anyway, it was only an eighth of an inch. So what I did was I JB welded this fitting on here for the gas. So what I'm going to actually do is, oh, and then I took it outside and I got, oh my God, I wasn't out there for more than three to four minutes and I froze to death. Well, not froze to death, but my hands froze and everything it's like right now it's minus 16 with the wind chill it's like probably minus 22 23 24 who the hell knows but anyway i grinded the, the tank down over here so fiberglass can stick to it and what i'm gonna do with this tank is i'm gonna fabricate it if you want to say call it that um just modify it i'm gonna modify it to look like a chopper tank um but this is actually gonna be the the tank this is what's gonna hold the gas the rest is just gonna be for looks right i'm not gonna bother making my own um metal gas tank or whatever to shape it that way because I don't have the proper tools for it I don't have a one of those punching machines or whatever to shape the metal so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna modify it to look like a chopper tank and I think it will come out good um, and if it doesn't hey listen I'll take it apart and try again I don't have any plans for it. I'm just going to go with my imagination and see what I come up with. Cool? Cool.
So you guys saw me mixing this stuff before. It's fiberglass, so it's nothing new. I'm going to reinforce this a bit with the fiberglass. to make the other outer shell um, a lot of people use Bondo which is uh, body filler we call it here body filler I wouldn't recommend it for any of this stuff because what happens is body filler is not waterproof so what happens is I'm actually going to use body filler on here. But what happens is body filler, because it's not waterproof, uh, humidity gets on the inside of it and it starts bubbling up. It starts to create bubbles you you guys out there that do body uh, work on cars and that you know what I'm talking about Here is the gas tank after being coated uh, with fiberglass. I think this will look more, um, it'll look nicer on this bike actually than the little small one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to sand all this down and then coat it with a coat of body filler to smoothen it all up. Uh, you, I could have used uh, resin, fiberglass resin with a cloth for this. It would have probably been a lot better, maybe a little bit stronger, actually, if I did that. It's just that I didn't have it and I had the fiberglass so that's what I used. But this thing is pretty solid. Um, if you guys are wondering what these red spots are, uh, it's actually spot buddy because when you use body filler I use body filler over the fiberglass to smoothen it out better uh, the body filler sometimes leaves little nicks scratches and everything in it so the spot putty is too um, just to take care of those imperfections you can't actually use spot putty like very thick you got to put it on thin or else it'll start cracking anyway I have um, some extra yellow paint like maybe a half a can or whatever so I'm gonna do this a couple of coats of yellow then sand it down and um, and then paint it the original color what, what the color is gonna be so yeah I'm gonna get to that now so this is the color that the tank is gonna be this is how it came out I think it came out really good um, I was watching on the camera like just to make sure that it was on and everything it looks like it's orange and it might look like orange to you guys but this is actually fire red um, 
I think it came out really nice. I think it'll look nice on the bike. But for those of you that watched my videos before and everything, you know that this is not as far as I'm going to go. You know that I'm obviously going to put some graphics on here and, and all that. Right? So I'm going to get to that now. Okay, so while I'm waiting for some of the paint on the gas tank to dry, I decided to weld some hooks over here. Here, here, and I might add another one up on the top or whatever. And all they are is just these little eye hooks. They're nice and round and everything. Um, and then I cut, obviously, the thread off and weld it on, on there. And... They actually work perfect because the cable fits nice and slug, snug in there. Here's my how my gas tank came out. Um, I didn't know what to put here, so I decided to put... I live in Toronto, so I decided to put the Maple Leafs, our three major teams, Maple Leafs, Raptors, and Blue Jays on here. Um, and yeah, I actually think it came out pretty good. So, I want to thank my viewers and subscribers. I just passed, um, just went over 100 subscribers uh, last month. And I want to thank you guys all for those who watch and subscribe. And cheers, guys. See you on the next video. Welcome back to another Welcome back to another part of this uh, build Ah, oh, shit. That was supposed to be a, a peak.